you guys really think you run the world, huh? You think you can just bully everyone and cancel everything? You think you can just push us around so we all fall in line? <laughs> Here's the thing. I've been fighting for the world for a long time. For the losers and the rejects and the outcasts and the forgotten. For the abused. Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views. But I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to upload a stupid amount. I don't even know what's going to happen today. I'm just going to go crazy. And I'm hyper. I'm, got, I'm so energetic today. Because Sir Tom McDonald has done something that's completely crazy. Uploaded two albums. I've gone onto his um, personal website because I've subscribed. And because that's where the um, he's uploaded um, those two albums, not onto YouTube. I believe there is a, a number of singles from the album that are on YouTube. This particular one is Semantic Trailer. And so I'm going to react to that. But if you want to go and uh, witness and see more of the um, the music on the, the two albums, you have to go to his personal website. And I will leave all the details down below for that. And if you haven't, um, joined his personal website, then I don't know what's going on with you guys. Because if you're going to be a follower and you're going to react to it, surely, surely that you have to register to his personal website. Duh. You know, and if you haven't, then you know what? Don't react. If you're either going to be a follower or, or don't follow, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, look, I'm, I can be blabbing on for this for ages. I'm excited and I know you guys are excited. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs. And I Damn good video, audio music. Can you dig it? So I take it he's in some kind of... State your age. 32. State your country of residence. Is this kind of like the Big Brothers watching? United you? States of America. State your name. Interrogation of um, room. Tom McDonald. Sir McDonald, sir. Under Section 4A of the Restrictions on Freedom Act, established by the International Police in February of 2022, you no, have been found to be in free, violation mate. of several civil right disobedience now. bylaws, inciting public distrust of the government, solicitation of confidential information, <laughs> anti-institutional rhetoric, so they unauthorized it. assembly of civilians with the purpose They're of cool. protest, and amplifying social unrest. You are a threat to world safety and therefore you are being charged by the international police for the aforementioned disobediences. How do you plead? Kick ass, mate. Kick ass. You know what you call disobedience? Mm. You know what we used to call that? God. Freedom. Yeah. And what you call inappropriate, I call necessary. Oh, he's gonna go into it. Isn't and it? what you call lies and conspiracy oh, and anti institutional rhetoric, God. I call that the truth. Mm. You guys really think you run the world, huh? You think you can just bully everyone and cancel everything? Do you know what? Can you imagine if Sir Tom was president of the United States of America? <laughs> oh my God. There'd be so much change. So much change. And he would be, if you think he's public enemy number one right about now, um, pardon the pun, um, wow. Wow, can you imagine if he was president of the United States of America? Like I said, there'd be so much change and good change, you know, realistic change. But it seems to me that the, the hierarchies at the moment in the government, when you want change for the better, they always find something that say, no, we can't do that. How, I mean, like, for instance, free health care. We've got free healthcare over over here in England. It makes sense. Why do you want? There's parents that work so hard, right? And there's children that need, to, like, if there's something happened to your child, you have to pay for it. The, the children are the future. The children are the future of building their industry, building up America, building up England, building up whatever country you want it to be. So why wouldn't those children be free having free healthcare? Why didn't I don't understand it? And it's, it makes sense for people who work hard, who pay taxes, yeah, to have free healthcare. Yeah, if I broke my arm 
Do you know how much it costs to get fixed? Nothing. If I had a some kind of needing a, a, a heavy a, a, um, a operation to save my life, do you know how much that would cost? Nothing. Why? Because I work damn hard for my money. I pay taxes every um, every every month that comes out. I think it's, it's um, now it's about say twenty two percent or something like that, um, or twenty five percent, no more than twenty five percent tax on your wages, and that will cover it. That's cover everything. That's your healthcare, everything else. You know. And that's it. How comes America don't get that? How comes the, the, the rich people or the hierarchy say no? Because there will be chaos. There'll be no, they won't. There will just be people that are living that can now go out to work and earn money. It's a circle. You look after the people who's looking after your country. It's as simple as that. How can you not agree to free health care? How can you not how and this is the thing about these hierarchies? There's good ideas. That's coming from working class people, middle class people, and working class people, and the hierarchy say no. Because if there's not a pound and shillings or a dollar and a, and a dime in it for them, then it, then it doesn't warrant them having it, it to be existed. You know? The, the, you've got to see the bigger picture. Why are they saying no? And the, the, I can I can imagine if Sir MacDonald was a president, there would be a lot of things that would be turning over. And good ideas, great ideas, but the hierarchies will not ha let that happen because it's not, there's nothing in it for them. And that's what it all is about. It's in it for them. The hierarchy's got to stay higher. The, the, the money-making people's got to stay, um, old money's got to stay old money. They don't want to be overtaken by um, new money. You know, old money has to consistently stay in power. Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Wow. And we're only like, say, one minute, 25. And this is just a trailer. But it always warrants a debate. And what do you think about that? Come on, I want to hear it from you guys. I want to hear it from my Hulk family. I really, really do. I'm going to go back just a little bit. And it's only three minutes, so I don't. I very much doubt there's going to be a, um, a lot of pausing. Um, I very much doubt there's going to be a lot of pausing. But I will try. You think you can just bully everyone and cancel everything? You think you can just push us around so we all fall in line? <laughs> Here's the thing. I've been fighting for the world uh, for a long time. Uh huh. For the losers and the rejects and the outcasts and the forgotten. For the abused and the unwell and the disenfranchised. Calm down, Mr. McDonald. No, I've been fighting for our <laughs> freedoms down. and our safety and our survival uh. and the way that we remember the world used to be. Uh. I've been fighting for the world. Sit down. No, I'm not going to sit down. I oh. won't shut up. I will not quit. I will not back off. I won't let you destroy everything that people have spent their lives. The lion is speaking in their own den. And that's what makes the man. No matter where you are in the world, no matter what you see, it's down to your own self to stand up and talk. If you see something that's wrong, don't close. Don't turn that way or don't turn a blind eye to it. If you want to make a significant impact to the world, then you've got to stand up for the things that you believe, that you're blessed to see things that you say, wait, that's wrong. And, I've, and maybe I haven't got the significant power to do that, but I can organise and rally together people of, of um, I don't know, just people that can make a change. And if they can't make that change, then I'm going to influence people that can do it. And he's saying that. As long as there's going to be issues around the world, there's going to be always a Sir Tom MacDonald that's going to bring certain, highlight certain things to the world, um, to, to, to the forefront. It's as simple as that. We need people more like that. You know, we had Gandhi um, and he'd done a peaceful process and protests. And sometimes you have to fight fire with fire, you know, because look, the, the hierarchies are not stupid. They know what they're doing. And you point the finger at them and say, look, I know what you're doing. Does not make a change. You know, you've got to name and shame them. You really have to name and shame these people to make a significant difference. You know, and I love what um, Tom is doing. There's, there's a number of whole families saying, oh, they, um, they're going to take him out soon. They're going to take him out. They're not. They, they can't take him out. They can't take him out. You make a martyr of it out of him. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You make a rap martyr out of him. I'm going to go back just a little bit. And try not to pause a lot. <sighs> yeah, right. <laughs> Who 
destroy everything that people have spent their lives trying to build. I have fought for the world for all my life, but do not think for a second that I will not fight against it. That's why you're here. That's why you will never leave here. <laughs> you think you can stop me? No. You really think you can stop me? It's been me against the world since I was old enough to think. War, famine, natural disaster. The world has fought it all and won. The world is undefeated. We what you've got to understand is there's repercussions. I mean, not repercussions. There's, it's a circle. There's been many Sir Tom McDonald's in this world in our lifetime that's fighting the same regime all the time. So they've got the schematics of how to deal with uh, people like Sir Tom McDonald. They've got the schematics. If you go throughout the whole history, you see there's people uh, down to 10th century, 8th century, um, a, um, BC, AD, you know, that there has been someone who has been in that position, you know, a Tom McDonald. So the hierarchy has always had practice and the blueprint and schematics of how to deal with this with, um, with, with, with people like Tom. So they won't um, take him out. They might dry him out or close certain things. They've got, they got ways of, um, with a tight grip of the neck, so to speak, to lo uh, and they won't loosen up. They, they are very, very, very clever. Like I said, they've got years and years and years and years experience of how to deal with it. But now we've got to become even more clever because they've got years experience, a mountain amount of experience of how to deal with people like ourselves. And they're doing it for, you know, the control element. We've got to come up with a, um, a new initiative of how to, uh, a new um, innovation. We've got to have a new innovation of doing um, to, uh, to, to, I don't know, to, free, to fend off what has always been there. You know, to cause a little ripple, to cause a tear in there, to cause a crack. We've got to find a new, a new innovative way. We really do. Um, and just to keep, just, just to stir them off. We have to. And Tom McDonald is so clever in bringing this to the forefront. And it's going to grow and 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 grow, and grow until there's a significant wave um, for the hierarchies to be seen. Because right back now, they're invisible. They like to hide behind certain things and like to control other people to let them do what they want them to do. You know, they're in a position where they can whisper in one ear to create another thing. You know, the butterfly effect to whisper in one ear to have something over there to something over there to something over there for that to happen. You know, and they're sitting down having brunch or whatever um, and chilling and knowing that they're the one who started it. We need to upset that butterfly effect. We need to throw in and, and, and cause a spanner in the works, as so to speak. And there you have it, a.k.a. Tom McDonald, the, the spanner in the works that's stopping the, the, the clock from turning. Brilliant. I love it. And this is just the, the trailer for his uh, for the album. So God knows what his album is, is like. And well, I do. I didn't want to spoil it because I've got, I have, I have um, subscribed to his personal channel and I hope you guys have as well. Um, but wow. That's what I'm going to say is wow. And I, uh, uh, I urge you to go to his channel. And if you haven't already registered, then I don't know what's going on with you. I really don't know. I'm, seriously, I can't help you, man. Because he is, he's done so many things on YouTube to want you to go onto his personal um, channel for you to check it out. So if you haven't done it already, that's just plain, that's just plain ignorance. That really is. And I haven't got no sp a space for um, ignorance. I really haven't. I'm going to go back just a little bit. That pause button is my friend. <laughs> you know, pause, 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 pause. <laughs> and one, the world is undefeated. We are undefeated. One man See, will not what, change that. See, that's, you see that's that's where you screwed up. Mm -hmm. cool, that they say with great power comes great responsibility. You know what else comes with great power? Ignorance. Careless mistakes. The ability to vastly underestimate the people who you have power over. Uh -huh. And I am not alone. You can lock me up. You can hide me away. You can shoot me down like a dog in the street. But I promise you, you cannot kill me. My word, my message, my vision, my Martha. spirit will live on through Hangover Gang forever. Martha. And you know what? I guess you're not the only one making mistakes. Because when I said it was me against the world, I was mistaken. 
It's not me against the world. It's us against the world. Boom! There you have it. Oh my god. But to answer your question, not guilty. <laughs> oh, if that doesn't excite you right about now. So that was the trailer, cinematic trailer uh, for Sir Tom McDonald's two albums. Two albums. That's unheard of in the music industry for someone to let out two albums. That's what I love about his independency. Because you can't stop what he wants to do. You know, if he was signed, they would say, hell no, 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 no. You ain't going to let out no two albums. And they'll stop him. You know, so this is freedom. This is freedom of speech in this most clearest format ever. It really, really is. And I love the fact of, you know, the hangover gang. It is, it's just more than, it's just more. You know, it's every shape, crate, colour that's coming together um, to support what is the truth. To highlight certain things that's been hidden. To say that we're not going to be bullied anymore. To support each other. It's a family unit that's going forward. You know? And there's only one colour in this. You know, the hangover gang colour. It's as simple as that. And we don't see uh, colour um, race. We respect it all. You know? But it, once you belong to the hangover gang, you're, you're family. You're family. And, and you know what family's about. We stick together. We stick together and support each other. And that's what it is. And you, once you have that, that's hard to break down. You can't break that down. That's, that's bigger than a brick wall. That's, that's, that's stronger than a tank. That really is. That really, really is. And once you know, once, and Tom knows that, that's what he's got beside him. On Sue's right, to his left. And if it needs to be, they'll stand in front of him to protect. They'll stand behind him to catch his back. You don't you understand that this is a massive rave, um, wave. There's an ocean and we have put, we've just put a massive object in there and caused this massive ripple. And there's a number of people that the, the, the hierarchies are, are brilliant at being silent, but still have an amazing impact on the world. They're brilliant at being silent. They're brilliant at being invisible. But we need to do something like Tom's doing to make them visible, to make them, to force them to do something so everybody can see clearly that this is them. And not the puppets in front of them. You know, like I said, the but but like a butterfly effect. Someone's in power, they just whisper in somebody's ear, that person whisper in somebody's ear, that person whisper in somebody's ear, that, that person whisper in somebody's ear, and they create effect over there. Which have if that goes all wrong, they have no responsibilities towards that. So they can so it could be almost like the good guy who's high up in a uh, 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 present himself as a good guy who's presenting himself as a good guy in the hierarchy is actually the, the evil one. Because on camera, he's got to show that he's brilliant and good and, and wholesome and everything else. Off camera, he's whispering in that ear to make sure that that doesn't happen, what he said on the camera. You know, he can be the, he, he's the yin and the yang, or the evil yin and yang. You know, he does a good thing there and that side does a bad thing there. And they need to be accountable. They need to be held um, for what they are doing. We're not blind anymore. We never was blind. We just didn't have the, the, the power or the organization of doing something about it. And this is worldwide. I'm not talking about one particular country. I'm talking about every, the planet. For when you have a handful of people controlling the planet, you know that's wrong. You know that's wrong. It should never, ever be a handful of people running the planet. Never, ever, ever in this wildest dream should it be. And it's down to ourselves that allow that to happen. It's like you've got police. Police, I've always looked at this. I always question, how can police control um, like say, if there's a thousand police can control twenty thousand people, how? That's not possible. But there you go, because that mindset that should never ever happen. But it does all over the place. I see it everywhere. One policeman can control ten, twenty people. Why? That mindset. Even if that policeman's wrong, that mindset. I'm not saying to attack a police and all that kind of stuff. I'm just showing you about authority. That one man that says that's got authority, he can command loads because of the title. That's our mindset. That's what we're being brainwashed and, and computerized into thinking that we have to have obediency. We have to be in control. We have to, you know, no, we don't. And until there is a significant person like Tom McDonald, um, Tom McDonald, Sir Tom McDonald, highlighting these issues to make you think. And that's what he's doing. He's making you think 
as well as agree and say, yeah, and get behind me. He wants you to have the same energy as he does. He wants to energize us so we can think as an individual. So when the whole family comes together, it is as strong as anything. Because you take out one single person, he's got as, as much strength as, as the whole team. You've got to see this, man. Seriously. Now, let's go into these two albums and enjoy. And in, enjoy the in-depth things that he's going to say and put out there. It's going to trigger you to go, outside. <laughs> I know it is. For that reason, look. It's been an absolutely brilliant thing. If whoever's watching this, um, to, to, I'm talking about not my reaction, but um, Tom McDonald's um, somatic trailer, and don't feel energetic, uh, energetic by the end of it. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know, mate. You know, do a line or something. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. But this is uh, Tom McDonald is my drug, and he gets me high every time I watch him or, or react to him. Um, and, and same thing with Nova as well. Because they come in hand in hand. They really do. Um, apologies for not doing uh, uh, reacting to Nova's track. Um, I've, been I've been jumping into the Indonesian and Sri Lankan and Philippine hip-hop. Um, please go into my hip-hop categories. You see hip-hop from around the world. I will certainly do. I promise you. I will do. Um, I will react to Nova uh, within a couple of days. I promise you. And I apologise for that. Um, but for now. I salute you. Sir McDonald. You smashed it out of the park. You really did. Power over. And I am not alone. You can lock me up. You can hide me away. You can shoot me down like a dog in the street. But I promise you, you cannot kill me. My word, my message, my vision, my spirit will live on through Hangover Gang forever. And you know what? I guess you're not the only one making mistakes. Because when I said it was me against the world, I was mistaken.